I'd be upset with your tattoo if it was on my right. throat, but I could probably deal with it with yours. I would actually, I might be pissed off. Remember, artists, after the elimination tattoo, the Human Canvas jury will vote on the tattoo that they think is the worst and put one artist up for elimination. You may now consult with your human canvases. Then you will have six hours to complete your super villain tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. Dude, I don't know what angle you went on this one, man, but I'm pumped on this. I just thought about it. I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna win, it's gonna be because I did some sick New school this thing up, buddy. I'll just watch you freaking enjoy your way out of this competition. You gonna do it that size? Jesus. Yeah. Why? No, I'm just saying it's big for six hours. Jimmy Lit Walk's doing another Jimmy Lit Walk tattoo. It's a cartoon, not a comic. I would try and make that more dynamic. It just looks a little flat. Uh -uh. No. I mean, I guess if that's what you want to do and not do the challenge like you're supposed to. I don't know. I can't argue with you on drawing, so. I've been tattooing for 20 years. I don't really care about Joey's opinion. I got this. I take what I do know of Poison Ivy and create my own version of what this character is. I don't necessarily know that new skills ever going to come up in the challenges, but I figure this is about the closest thing that I'm going to get to really, really put it out there. So, this is my style of tattooing. So for me, I'm in a good running to win this challenge. Wow. Love it. I love it. I really do. He screwed the pooch. He did not follow the challenge. He took a comic book style tattoo. He did a beautiful new school tattoo. Okay, Jimmy, did you come here just to get more new school business or did you come here to compete? Jimmy. There's a guy who draws poison ivy. I think it missed the mark. She should be a seductress. She's not drawing me in. I don't draw it every day, so that's your area. Well, that's why I'm here, I assume. You missed in capturing the essence of this character. Bottom line is I'm 100% happy with what I turned out. This is a game. This is not a comic book tattoo. Today, DC Comic Day. I executed the tattoo, I did what I did, and I stand behind it. So we're here today to decide which artist gave the worst tattoo. My artist was Jimmy, and this is Poison Ivy. Honestly, I feel like I can pee more colors than that tattoo has. It looks like a green blob. Her boobs are weird. Like, if you look at her left shoulder, it's way back here, yeah. yet her left boob is, like, out here. It looks like the Jolly Green Giant's daughter. He decided to deviate from the challenge, which was a comic book challenge. Has anybody seen a comic book that looks anything like this? No. That's a good he point. He did try to make it into his own character. Personally, I feel like it was the worst. Wait till yours goes up, buddy. So the human canvas jury has come to a decision. Jackie, Jason, Jimmy, any one of you could justifiably be sent home. Jimmy, you're here because the human canvas jury voted that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I stand behind my tattoo. Not everyone's going to like what I do, but I've been doing it for 20 years. But you can't stylize something to the point where it's unrecognizable. This is not poison ivy. It's a cutesy little cartoony green creature. You've missed the essence. Can't make everyone happy. Remember, artists, after the elimination tattoo, the human canvas jury will vote on the tattoo that they think is the worst and put one of you up for elimination. You have the rest of the evening to consult with your human canvases. Tomorrow you will have six hours to complete your portrait tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. There are a lot of moles back here. I know. My question is, if it's not the back, what do you suggest? Do you got things on your legs at all? No. I would probably suggest legs, I guess. My canvas wants a tattoo on her back, but it is moly back there. I need to tattoo her somewhere else. Who won the flesh challenge, Jimmy? Yes. I guess he screwed you, huh? If she's going to stick to her guns, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll end up with the portrait of her mother on my leg. We decide we're going to tattoo her on her calf. She's not a big girl, and it's a lot of detail in this small spot. Every wrinkle, every strand of hair, every eyelash is going into this tattoo. I can't believe the work that goes into this. I have to at least try to take this home for my family. I can't keep being the bottom of the barrel. You make sure you tell him if he's doing something wrong. Kyle's looks like a ball of raisins kind of like smashed together. Is that horrible for me to say? He should be trying to soften her face and just show the main shapes of her face rather than every single <laughs> wrinkle. Oh, Kyle, I love it. Oh, <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Oh, it's perfect. Kyle. 
you accurately captured a lot of parts about this lady. If you look at the shading on her nose, it actually has dimension. You actually put the contour in there, but then you went in here and put too much time in every wrinkle. It definitely wasn't the only one to say Leatherface when I looked at this tattoo. I had to show accuracy. I think your accuracy is one of the stronger points on it. You nailed it, dude. It's a lot more accurate not to pinpoint Jason than his glasses. You had a tough one, but I think you did a great job on it personally. We're here to decide who has the worst tattoo. My tattoo artist was Kyle, and it was a portrait of my mom. Her face is more wrinkly. He aged her way yes. too much. I, yeah, that... I think he captured me, all my lines. And To me, it kind of looks like Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I don't know what to say. He should have gave that piece more life. But you got to understand, he had the most detailed Definitely. one. Definitely. Just too much going on to actually see her. But you don't see that it's her? You're not seeing it's her? I think it's the worst one. I'm sorry. Yeah, I would agree. I do, too. So we've reached a decision. <sighs> Jimmy, Jason, Kyle, the three of you were slightly off. And any one of you could justifiably be sent home. Kyle, you're here because the human canvas jury voted that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I didn't really expect that. That's the people you're trying to please first, so that sucks. This tattoo is way too little for all that texture. You don't have enough room to let the tattoo breathe, and that's what made it look so dark. Remember, artists, after the elimination tattoo, the human canvas jury will vote on the tattoo that they think is the worst and put one artist up for elimination. You will have six hours to create a cover-up based on your work Two of you will be closing shop. Good luck. Like a barbed wire and ribbons coming down, flowers. Somewhere I'd like to put a cross, but then I want my boy's names and my grandson's name. OK. All the things she want in this tattoo is killing me. Pretty much the same thing, what I drew on you. Is there any way that you can move him over and take the Gavin here off mm -hmm. and then do like side ribbons? I really don't like this. The last thing I need right now is a headache. This is his son. I wonder kind of where I could put the kids under him. There's no way to try and peg that in. Stop hindering me with your ideas. I've been doing this for a while, and I have to do this to where it actually works. I got a bad canvas, man. King Ruck. I mean, how would you? There's a bunch of different ways you could approach that. A nice black and blue rose could have been the cover up. The horseshoes could have been behind it and banners under it. I've had some bomb canvases. There's 60 plus years of tattooing sitting at this table. You cannot tell me about a canvas. We're here to determine the worst tattoo of the day. That is my tattoo. My artist was King Ruck. I know that tattoo because I had it before, too. You still see the lines. Look in the horseshoes. Yeah, the lines like are that. still there. You yeah, can you can see still it. see the lines. I'm not pleased at all. The horseshoes, to me, look like cartoon magnets. The rose is pointed way down. Not to really piss you off, but I'm going to. That tattoo sucks. He didn't even listen to what, anything I said. Yeah, that sucks. Guys, do we have a decision? Definitely. Yes. Without a doubt. Today, we tested your adaptability with a cover-up tattoo. King Ruck, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I know what I did. Of course, it's not my best tattoo, but I know that I'm a good tattoo artist. The judges have decided. King Ruck, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. You have six hours to complete your glute tattoo. Remember, if your technical application isn't flawless, you'll be packing your machines. And your time starts now. Oh. Let's do this. All right. All right. I'm kind of going for a pinup alien almost. Are you down for like new school style? Mm-hmm. I love yeah, school, actually. That's, that's me, though. Really? Yeah, cuz. Oh, my god. That's what I was hoping for. Holy <laughs> I'm so happy I finally get to do a bomb-ass new school tattoo like I'm used to doing at home. I love it. Hell, yeah. Robbie's alien is very mangled, very chewed up. The skin has gone through a lot of trauma. Uh. I'm sure this client is not going to be up for very much more wear and tear. Robbie and Mark. Well, Robbie, the main thing here is your technical application. You caused a lot of damage to this lady's skin. There is so many areas that are just abrasively overworked. We're here to determine who has the worst tattoo of the day. 
This is my tattoo. Robbie did the alien and Mark did the girl. Looks like two different scenarios. It doesn't look like one piece. Exactly. I think Robbie could have spread out the picture a little bit more. It looks like everything's just smushed. It looks like you skinned your butt cheek. It was very rough. It hurts. But he was a great artist to be with. Like, he was very friendly. Friendly ain't gonna win you the competition. Have we reached our decision? Yes, yes. yes. absolutely. Robbie. This is a huge mistake, a huge hiccup, and I'm begging for forgiveness at this moment. I mean, I showed you way better technical application in the tattoo I did after this, because I made mistakes in this one, and I didn't go back to those. This is a major misfire. Major. This isn't what I do. This isn't who I am. I just want one more chance to make this right. Calm down, brother. Breathe. Just have a moment. Robbie, don't beg, just fight. The judges have decided. Robbie, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. You will have six hours to tattoo your canvas's spine. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. My canvas wants a double helix DNA strand in full color. How big are you looking to do it? Down the spine. Down the whole spine? Yeah. There's no way I'm going to finish that within six hours. If I do a full spine, by the time I get to here, I'm going to have to rush. Always fun when you have sunburn and the skin gets my needle. Hey, I deal with it all the time. I'm on the beach. My canvas wants a Polynesian hawk going shoulder blade to shoulder blade. All the surfer bros want that stuff, and I do a lot of it. I'm stoked. I've been tattooing for 20 years. I'm anything but slow. Nobody can take out the funky long neck. I'm back. Mark, how'd you feel about being teamed up against Aaron? Well, I know he's really a good tattoo artist, so I know it's going to be a good challenge. He did show finesse by taking the old image of the sun and incorporating the light rays to the bird. It wasn't senseless background. It actually had meaning behind it. Chris. All these little bars that go across are not parallel, and there's a lot of inconsistencies. The bottom spiral is just out of whack. We're here to determine who has the worst tattoo of the day. That one's my tattoo. My artist was Mark. Your eyes get drawn right to the flaws of the wings. The wings are going through the clouds, and it doesn't even match up on either side. Yeah, it's right not there. cohesive throughout the wall. Yeah, though. it's so not. The symmetry is really bothering me in this one. I, I just wish he did a straight tribal with clouds behind the hawk. This is Chris's tattoo. The molecules look like tapeworms. I think it looks warped, like some of the pieces are stretched out. I don't like the design. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Giving Chris 100 grand after this? There's no way. Do we all agree? Yes. 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 Today, you faced off tattooing your canvas's spines. Chris, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I didn't think the canvas story would have picked me. You continually still make choices that set yourself up for failure. It was just a poor design choice, and I take full responsibility for that. I can compete with the top guys here. You definitely need a win, man. Mark. Had you have at least put that little inference of the right wing coming off the body, it wouldn't have looked so out of line. I just really wanted to have that wow factor and just always want to do the best tattoo. I think it's a really cool design. It's one step away, and I know it's easy to say sitting from this side. I just went balls to the wall and just tried to do this big, awesome tattoo. That's what I always do. It's just not a safe play here at this competition. OK, artists, you have six hours to show detail with Egyptian tattoos. And your time begins now. You know. What? Eric gave me the design, and he put me up against Chris, who's been doing this for a long time. I don't even know what the to do here. I hate not having enough time to like get something drawn that I like. Don't cry. Don't freak out. I don't get it. Eric should be trying to hook me up since he's my mentor, but he just threw me under the bus. You guess you have to talk to Marissa. She's lost her mind, huh? There's no crying and tattooing. Get your head straight. If you're not going to be able to battle against me, then go home. Marissa, MV, and Chris went head to head tattooing the Sphinx. Marissa, let's start with you. Where I'm having trouble is the shading in the face. It's like it's got a mouthful of marbles. The little detail at the top of the headdress, what is that? Well, it was supposed to be a snake. It was really tiny. Those kinds of inconsistencies are throwing my eye in terms of having this thing look like a three-dimensional statue. 
We're here to determine who had the worst tattoo of the day. This is my tattoo. My tattoo artist was Marissa. Why does he have Elvis Presley lips? Like, his <laughs> lips is like, oh, God, like, thank you very much. Her proportions are obviously off completely. It definitely shows that she didn't care. Today, you had to take ancient images and translate them to skin. It's time to find out who the human canvas jury determined had the worst tattoo of the day. Aww. Marissa, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. Sucks. Why did the jury vote Marissa to the bottom? It's the lack of the detail and everything kind of not proportionate. Did you vote for this tattoo as the worst of the day? Yes, I did. I showed it to you, and, and you I, said you liked I, it. At the beginning, when I looked in the mirror, I was in love with it. Eventually, I could see some of the minor details that just weren't quite there. Damn. We appreciate you coming down here, Dan. Thanks, guys. I appreciate buddy, thank it. Thank you. Artists, you have six hours to tattoo a koi fish as good as Mike Rubendahl's. And your time begins now. Uh, here we go. You definitely don't want water. At all, period? Yeah, no. I want him to blossom out of flowers, not water. My canvas is not only picky, but lacks common sense. Why you don't like the water? Just looks cheesy. That looks cheesy. Yeah, it's not moving in my body. Koi fish are in water. You don't see koi fish tattoos without water. So no way I can talk you to in some water. Just yeah, a bit. no. We can't get no understanding. I feel like I'm talking to a toddler. Well, but what if I draw it on here and just let you take a look and see if you might like it? You can if you want to, but I don't want water. I don't know how to handle this I'm shit. so freaking out. Why? Because it's a tattoo, and it's going to hurt. It's a needle. Damn, she wants this on her ribs. Can she take it? How are you going to do the water wave? Well, you say you want it coming from the outside going into the fish? Well, somewhat. Everything that she prefers is against what I'm trying to do. That fish is bigger than what we No, it's it. This is the original side. I'm going to shrink it. Can he have one whisker? Right now, mentally, I'm losing it. I'm gonna let you take a look at it. Like where it's at? It looks weird. He just looks lonely there. I'm exhausted. She's having me change this and change that. That's good. It's right on the blade, though. You got, you got your other shoulder blade tattooed already. At home, I own my own shop. If I don't want to do it, I send them on their way. You relax. Put your shoulders down. I got my back against the wall, and I'm having a compromise. Now I feel like I just have a hole in the back. Hold. All right, take a look at that. Yeah, perfect. Let's get it popping, girl. Oh my god, stop, 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 stop. Bam. Turn up the mirror. It'll make me feel better. We ain't got a whole lot of time, so I gotta get on it. My god, my poor back. I'm not happy with it. It looks like pee. Like the fish is pee. What kind of is that? This bitch is crazy. Like, I can't figure out how to please her. You're telling me that that doesn't look like a puddle right now? It's a water splash. Looks like my niece drew it. Well, don't, don't insult me, man. I have to live with this, and you're not paying for my removal. I'm going to fix it. Now, they made it this far, and I've been having all these nutty-ass canvases all this time. She's by far the worst. Now, take a look at that. This is BS right now. Like, I hit. He's too orange, though. And that's the blood leaking through the yellow. You and I are not even on the same page right now. Ain't nobody ever been unpleased with something I did ever my whole life till now. This is plain ignorance. That looks like a pumpkin and, and pit. But it, I told you, your skin irritated, so. I'm trying to be nice, and I'm just going to flip your table over. This is on my back. I'm trying to, like, talk to you so we can work together. Your job is to work with me here. It's gonna make me flip out, you know what I mean? You gonna have him continue or you gonna have him stop? I want him to continue. This is embarrassing. I don't wanna go home for this. I cannot let this defeat me. What about the other flower, what happened? Yeah, no time to finish it. And Keto, your canvas didn't even get you on this one. You got yourself on this one. Keto. 
I know you had a struggle, but man, every centimeter of this tattoo shows that struggle. This line work is this poor. She was kicking her feet. Every stroke on that tattoo, she was moving. The drawing is one of the worst layouts of the day. The shape of the water, totally strange. That top lotus flower looks like an artichoke. There's no redeeming qualities to this tattoo whatsoever. We're here to determine who has the worst tattoo of the day. That's my tattoo, and the artist was Tito. It looks awful, unfortunately. Nothing melds together. It's all kind of like a collage. It looks like a five-year-old drew it. The blue water looks like another leaf. He told me it was a good idea to add some waves so it could look more realistic. Those waves don't look realistic. That was the biggest mistake, was to listen to his idea. He told me, trust him. He has 10 years experience. Back up your work, because definitely it's not there. <sighs> Just looks so bad. Today, you had to show crisp, perfect lines tattooing a Japanese koi fish. It's time to find out who the human canvas jury determined had the worst tattoo of the day. Kido, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I think anybody else would have had to deal with what I dealt with would have probably been down here, too. Excuse me, you messed up my back, and you can't take full responsibility for that ugly tattoo. I ended up giving in and pretty much letting her coach the whole drawing. That's not my work. That was all you, and it looks horrible. What specifically don't you like? I don't like the lining, the colors, the flower placement. I don't like the water placement at all. You're dealing with an awful work that you just did on my back that unfortunately I have to live with for like ever. Okay, now I don't I think said, you're getting that. I'm just too intelligent, man, for any rebuttal right now. Just leave it at that. Mary Jean, I hope that you find a solution to this. Thank you. Thank you. I was just trying to finish at some point. I was trying to turn something in. I don't think that any one of us find any redeeming qualities in this tattoo. Keto, you let your canvas beat you. If we eliminate the canvas, the fundamentals beat you. So I would have to vote for Keto. The judges have decided. Keto, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Hold it down, man. You got it, man. That's bull to the highest level of bull I'm getting sent home because this canvas with the IQ of a toddler couldn't agree to a design, picked apart my design, couldn't take the tattoo. I'm pissed the f off. Artists, you have six hours to create a trash polka tattoo. And your time begins now. All right. Let's do this. Uh, my canvas wants a bunch of random New York I fall the worst spot. Man, got the shake. Grease yourself. <laughs> ah. You're getting an easy spot tattooed? Shut the f up and let me do what I do. Dave. I don't really feel like you went out on a limb trying to compose anything really amazing here. I think you're a much better technician than an actual table artist. Today is a composition challenge, so that is not going to win it for you. Tyler. Looking at the tattoo, it is very busy, but at the same time, when I look at composition, if it's interesting, I can overlook mistakes. But the Empire State Building's line, pretty strange. That outline gets a little crazy. I had to hold that kid down. We always compliment you on your application, and this one, some of the line work just gets away. I wasn't trying to go for clean. I wanted to go for like that messy punk rock. In here, always go for clean. We're here to determine who had the worst tattoo of the day. This is my tattoo, and my artist was Tyler. The image was just photoshopped and traced onto my leg. It really wasn't original. I think it's too busy. I think from a distance, I wouldn't know what that was. That Statue of Liberty looks like crap. All he did was Google Statue of Liberty, Googled Empire State Building, copy, paste. That's my tattoo. My artist was Dave. To me, it just feels simple. I feel like with Trash Polka, you can't go basic. I think that this should be voted the worst because he had free reign to do whatever he wanted, and he took the easy way out. Yours is way better than mine. Dave's tattoo is readable, at least. Today, your composition was put to the test with Trash Polka tattoos. It's time to find out who the human canvas jury determined had the worst tattoo of the day.
Tyler, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I'm 100% surprised. Everybody uh, pretty much agreed that everything was just very clustered. It's just very unreadable from a distance. What do you think about it? I'm unsatisfied with it. The Empire State Building, it just looks so corny and just stenciled. It's a trash polka tattoo. Tyler, I mean, this is not personal. I'm just saying the tattoo that I came away with, I'm unsatisfied. I did the challenge. I like the tattoo. Thank you very much, Thank Kenny. You Appreciate you sharing your thoughts. Tyler, the design itself has a lot of the style that you were asked to do, but pleasing your clients, that is the mindset you have to have to win this thing and not put yourself up for being at the bottom. All right, guys, you have six hours to show finesse with Victorian throat tattoos, and your time begins now. Let's do this. Whoa. No. <laughs> I'm tattooing a piece of Victorian lace to mimic a dress that her grandmother wore in a wedding photo. I know I can nail this. You're doing awesome. Matt. Overall, the tattoo is dark. From 20 feet away, it looks like a black handkerchief around her neck. I do know it will lighten up through time. But your outlines aren't going to straighten out over time. The outlines that are in the swirl patterns, there's a lot of hiccups in those lines. You definitely have considerable blowouts happening near the collarbone of the neck. That's where your lack of finesse is. Why would you do that straight line across the top? At least give her some little scallops off the top and break it up. It doesn't look soft. It just looks like you slit her throat. We're here to determine who has the worst tattoo of the day. That's my tattoo, and my artist was Matt. I'm upset that it's so dark. It doesn't help that the line at the top is so solid. It's just like. To me, lace would be either sheer or see-through. You can fix it. Laser. That is my tattoo, and my artist was Cruzman. What is the white hole? We had discussed to have a door. He didn't seem like he wanted to do it. He just figured that he would just make a hole. He played it safe. He did. That, he that's really what did. he was doing. I just think he coughed out. I'd be upset with your tattoo if it was on my right. throat, but I could probably deal with it with yours. I would actually, I might be pissed off. Today, you had to use finesse to create a Victorian tattoo on your canvas's throat. It's time to find out who the human canvas jury determined had the worst tattoo of the day. Matt, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. Heather, why did the jury vote Matt to the bottom? I actually also voted for Matt because I thought it would be a lot lighter. I know that the gray wash will considerably lighten up. Only the areas where I put the deeper blacks will actually stay dark for you. That's not gonna lighten that much. I think Matt's playing this up a little bit, and I feel bad for you. It's gonna be a dark triangle. I completely trusted you, so I was really thrown off when I saw how dark it was. It makes me feel terrible to stand here and know that you're not happy. Heather, thank you so much for coming down and joining us today. Thank you. Matt, I'll tell you outright, it looks like she's just got a black hole in her neck. It was my intention to make it look like she had a really nice piece of jewelry. The tattoo for me is very off-putting. It's so much hard work, man. It's a shame for it to have gotten away. All right, guys, Sarah Miller challenged you to tattoo a surrealistic female. You will have six hours to tattoo. Your time starts now. All right, let's do it. Come over here. Let's do the stencil. It is, man. As soon as we get done with these buildings, I'm going to move to her. My canvas wants a surrealistic setting of Philadelphia being blown apart by a nuclear bomb along with a girl's face. I'll be using my girlfriend, his reference. She's hot. It'll work. Cool. Thanks, man. Yeah, having a good day. This mother might be going home. Last week, knocked out St. Mark. It would be gigantic if we could take out another veteran. I'm expecting something good here. All right, mister. What are you thinking, dude? Um, man, I think Alex should have done a different face. He said the face he's doing is his girlfriend. Yeah, this off. Alex, 
So I understand that you used your girlfriend's image as reference. The photo that you use, she's at an angle that's tilted like this. Right. I don't feel that you interpreted that angle well and you created a face that has more of a traditional alien shape. I think when people look at it, they'll get the idea. You didn't get that depth. You didn't get that perspective. I saw the photo, looks like a beautiful girl on the photo, looks like a freak of nature on the tattoo. We're here to determine who had the worst tattoo of the day. This is my tattoo. My artist was Alex Rockoff. Her one cheekbone is definitely a lot higher than the other one. It's not a very pretty face. <laughs> that sucks. It's almost like a scary woman's face. Yeah. yeah. I wanted a beautiful woman's face. It's very wicked witch. I gotta live with this forever, and that nose is Yeah. Now it's time to find out who the human canvas jury voted for. that. Alex, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. Nick, why did the jury vote for Alex? The shape, the cheekbones are too pronounced, the eyes are off level, the nose is butchered. That's that tattoo I put on is dope. Really? Everyone in the room voted for it. It was unanimous that this was the bottom. To come on Ink Masters, I expect perfection and greatness, and this is by far not greatness. I apologize on behalf of everybody here. It's not my first bad tattoo. Hey, dude. Thank you. It's a kick in the nuts. I like my tattoo. It's unfortunate that Nick doesn't. I thought my tattoo was fun and colorful. I mean, her tattoo was pretty much butchered. It looked dark as <laughs> And then Clean's tattoo was messy. I really didn't think my tattoo would be even close to that. It's unanimous that the tattoo, the face itself, is unappealing. From clients, your peers, definitely from us. The judges have decided, Alex, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. You've came into a season that is the best of the best. This looks like a finale, and you're here with them. So you made it far, man. Don't bum out. Head up. Always head up. Please pack your machines and close shop. Okay. All right, artists. James Vaughn challenged you to tattoo a Japanese dragon with water. You will have six hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. Is the skin as bad as you thought it was? Oh, the, the skin's bad. Because I lost the weight, is that why? Totally, it's been stretched out. I got the worst canvas of the day because the skin is so fragile. If I'm not careful, it's gonna swell up to the point where I can't tattoo it. Mm. Here, right? Burns so bad. It's not very fun. Oh my. Christian and Clean were clearly out to screw me. I'm a threat and they're trying to take me out. So I appreciate you fighting oh through with this. How you doing, buddy? Starting to get a little rough. It wasn't for the burn, I'd be straight, man. Sausage is totally rattled. I almost feel guilty. Almost. I'm pretty sure Sausage is going to eat my face tonight. Oh, is he angry? Oh, he's beyond angry. Sausage should be feeling like a little kid because he's going to get spanked today. Let's take this last stab at it, OK? Oh. My canvas is really feeling the pain. He's kind of jostling around in the chair. This is not making it easy for me to do these really smooth blends that I need to nail. God damn it. I got none left. I'm screwed. Sausage. The legibility of this tattoo is lost just in the way you shaded it. You put black right up to the edge of the dragon and then black right inside the dragon. The problem with skin that has weight loss, it's much harder when it's deflated. That being said, you do have some anatomy issues. The neck is so thick and then you really taper down to this thin body. It makes it seem like the head is way in the foreground and the rest of the dragon's way off in the background. Your big downfall is the drawing. We are here to determine who has the worst tattoo of the day. This is my tattoo, our sausage. It's too black. I really can't see the scales or nothing. Yeah, too much shading. It's hard to read. You should have put some color in it. But then that's the difference between a black and gray and a color tattoo. But that's a black and dull tattoo then, because it's really dull. Is this blowing the bottom? Hell no. It's now time to find out who the human canvas jury chose. Sausage, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. Ron, why did the human canvas jury vote sausage to the bottom? They said it was too dark, and that was it. I'm sorry, Ron. This is not where I expected to see you at all. You don't gotta be sorry about nothing. I was a bad canvas. It hurt. He took some breaks, and we did the best we could. I don't see this being a bad tattoo at all. I don't care what anyone says. I appreciate everything you've done for me. OK, Ron, thanks for joining us, buddy. See you guys. When I see black tucked into whiskers like that, my immediate response is somebody was trying to cover up a mistake. 
the scales are done well, the, the face is done well. It's not like I'm gonna go back upstairs and the bed. I'm gonna come back out swinging for the fences again. If sausages tattoo walked into my shop, I would question whether that person knows how to tattoo. But I do feel that mine was more legible. I don't 